Pets on Parade. Thank you so much for keeping it tuned right here. Now, we met this cutie's brother earlier in the show. Now it's his turn. Denise, who is this sweet kitty? This is James, a very dignified name for a little kitten. <laughs> he was came into the Arizona Humane Society as a stray. So my guess is he was born into a cat colony outside. And what a cat colony is, it's a group of cats who reside outside and who are cared for by a person in a nearby residence or business. A lot of times these cats can actually be friendly. For whatever reason, they just aren't quite suited to indoor living. So they make themselves quite comfortable living outside. It's very important though that all the cats living outside as well as your own pets are spayed and neutered. So if you are caring for a cat colony or you know of someone who is caring for a cat colony, go to so manycats.org for information on trap neuter return services. This little guy, James, is ready for indoor living. He wants to find a home with someone who is going to give him lots of cheek rubs and lots of chin rubs because that's what he's been banging for, for, for me for the entire time he's been on the table. So if you are looking for a nice snuggly kitten who wants some indoor living, come on down and meet the dignified James. Oh my gosh, yes, so adorable. Thank you so much, Denise. And now time to meet our helper from earlier. This little cutie is definitely lucky, but Shamrock's story is one that we see all too often, Perry. Yeah, right, Kelsey. Little Shamrock was uh, abandoned in our Sunny Slope parking lot on April 1st. So uh, April Fool's Day is no joke here to Little Shamrock. Please do not abandon your pets. There are just way too many options out there. Uh, bring them into our facility. Uh, if it's not the Arizona Humane Society, there's lo lots of rescues in the valley. You can take a dog to a place and drop it off, or a cat or any critter. Um, there's just no reason to leave them out there by themselves. Can you imagine this little 11 week old in a parking lot like that? It's not good. There's way too many dangerous things out there. There's uh, prey type animals, you know, coyotes and hawks and all like that. There's cars, automobiles and buses and trucks, very, very dangerous to pets. But the big, big danger to pets is coming up very, very soon, and that's going to be the heat. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit of it now, and we're going to start to see more. We're going to hit those 115-degree temperatures. Dogs, cats could, cannot be out in the heat like that. Can you imagine this 11-week-old would have lasted maybe a few hours in that kind of heat? Please bring them indoors. Uh, know all the warning signs of heat stress and heat stroke. If you're at all confused about the... Uh, just go to our website, azumaine.org, slash no hot dogs, az. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. And make sure to join us at David Yurman in Scottsdale Fashion Square and shop to benefit the homeless pets of our shelter. Next Thursday, April 11th from 6 to 8 p.m., 10% of sales will go back to save the sick, injured, and abused pets here at AHS. There will also be wine and champagne served. And now we don't have an actual bunny on the show, but we <laughs> certainly have a kitty named one, Janine. Well, Easter is coming, so if you want an easier pet than I think than a rabbit, myself, is um, Bunny is, looks like a Russian blue. She is beautiful. She's about 10 weeks old. She loves toys. She's just having a ball up here. Well, the cool thing with kittens, or if you're just thinking of getting your first animal, I think a kitten is a great way to start because they're easy. You just have to, you basically just could leave them in a, t a small room with all their necessities water, food, litter box, a bed, a cat tree, toys, and they are set for good. So you got to come check out this little beauty. She is just so beautiful. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Janine. And that's it for today's show. And you also need to check out our long timers who are free today and tomorrow. Look for that flower on their kennel. We're trying to get out almost 50 animals that have been in the shelter for 30 plus days. So hopefully you or a friend can help us out. That's it for today. Make sure to stay tuned next week right here on 3TV.